All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Today, we'll go over my little air system here real quick. It's been a while since I did a video, or, you know, obviously I had the Rona. Um, this is, these are all the specs on my compressor. This is 60 gallon, 13.4 CFM at 40 PSI, 11.5 at 90, 3.7 horsepower. Uh, mine's a Husky, came from Home Depot. They sell this exact same compressor as a DeWalt, as a Sanborn, as a Master Force, as like every big box store carries some version of this. Um, assembled in the USA with global components. They come out of Minnesota. I, I figured it all out. The only thing that changes is the color and the size of this. Mine has a three quarter out. Some other ones have a half out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. 220 power. It lives in this little shed. Um, which I don't really care about. Like, I'm, I'm not going to consider doing anything about anything. It's going to live in that shed. That's where it lives. Which looks fine from right here. Um, from there, we got a three-quarter to half-inch adapter. Half-inch rubber hose. Runs over here to a half-inch elbow. This is a three-quarter inch. I think it's like a floor thing. Um... It's meant to screw a pipe into the floor or something. But what I did was put a half inch pipe through it and welded it to one side. And then I shot two screws and I put another one on the outside and I shot two screws going that way. So what I have is sandwiched between the steel here and you can see that it's completely uh, screwed up. So then I welded my little half inch pipe. I put my shutoff valve right here. Um, I got 50 foot of half inch rubber hose and a air dryer regulator deal. And that is the whole air system for the moment. Um, I don't need any more air than that right now. I'm not in here cutting a billion things. I have an industrial air dryer. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know where I'm going to put anything. So right now I've basically ended the system right here and I can hook it up wherever I want and I can shut it off from here. So, um, eventually I'll come through and I'll do parts and drops and all that stuff, but it's not, not that important to me right now. What's important to me right now is doing something that makes some money. Um, you see over here, I'm having a little difficulty with my torch cable. Uh, I'm going to hopefully straighten that out. It's Friday today. It'll be Saturday when you guys see this. I'm feeling much better. I'm more or less over the Rona, I think. Um, I, I spent three or four days where I just slept a lot and had fevers. And I did lose my taste of, uh, my sense of taste. Um, I can taste like salt and sugar, but not much. So like my coffee just tasted like hot, sweet water. It was terrible. Um, so it kind of stalled out progress on getting the transmission out of this pig. It's basically sat here all week. Um, I've done very little with this. I got the plasma cutter over here. I got it hooked up. Obviously that's a mess. Um, <coughs> I need to build some kind of little structure for the plasma cutter to ride around in on the bottom. Um, because having wheels on the table does you no good if the plasma doesn't go with it. So... I don't know. We'll see about that. But right now I need to get this back out of here, which I'm not going to do today. I feel a little bit better today. Well, I feel a lot better today, but I'll probably feel a lot better tomorrow and I'll probably feel a lot, lot better by Sunday. Um, this is the torque converter bolts are out of it, um, which I had to use my other plastic cutter and an air chisel to get some of them out. They were pre-rounded. That was awesome. Uh, the exhaust is out, the drive shafts are out, the transmission linkage is out, the transfer case linkage I think is where I left off. Um, so drop the transfer case linkage, drop the cross member, zip six bell housing bolts out and let it fall on the ground outside and uh, that'll be done. So not a lot, I think the lines are still hooked, no the lines are unhooked. Um, I don't know, there's about an hour, hour and a half's worth of work to get the transmission out of this thing still. And then I can get it back out in the snowbank where it belongs for the rest of the year, rest of the winter. 
But I uh, wanted to give you guys a, got my little overhaul kit up there. Wanted to give you guys a quick update. That's what's going on. Pretty simple air system. Um, the way I passed it through the wall, I guess is kind of clever, but otherwise it's super simple. I'm not insulating shit. I'm not noise canceling anything. I've had that compressor for eight years, six years. Man, I'm out of my mind. I've had that compressor for six years. My wife bought it for me when we were dating and, uh, it was, they were a lot cheaper then. They're like twice as much money now, but, uh, it sat in my unheated garage for the past six years. Um, it runs all winter. It, it doesn't care. It hasn't cared yet that it was outside in the cold. So I doubt it's going to care now. And frankly, by now, if it does poop the bed, like I, I'm just going to buy another one. It's been quite a few years. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here, go sit back down on the couch. Unfortunately, I can only sit on the couch for so long. I, I start going a little crazy. Um, but I need to get this stupid pig out of here, like, first and foremost. That's my number one goal. So, haven't done any work on it since Saturday. Probably not going to do any work on it until Sunday. Hopefully, I'm feeling, continue to feel better. And uh, I can shove this out and get back to the money-making things. Um, which, again, like, the only reason I was working on this is because I was stalled and it didn't cost me anything. The reason that I'm not doing the best air system ever in the world right there is because it doesn't make me any money and I don't care. The air system I have right there will supply air to a plasma cutter. And that's all I need. Um, so we'll get there, but it'll be slow. And I've rambled enough. I thank you guys for watching. I thank everybody for all your well wishes and, uh, you know, different ideas. I've tried to eat a lot of vegetables and fruits and things like that. It's a lot, it's easier now that I can taste things again. It's a little hard to eat when it just tastes like salty paste, kind of gross. But uh, yeah, I'll be back. Look forward to uh, seeing more stuff in the coming week. And uh, hopefully you guys are all doing well out there. Thanks for watching, guys.